welcome back if you're joining me from another video if you're joining me for the first time hello I have in front of me something I'm super duper excited about um, they're new in my country I believe they've been in the UK for a while but they are the Disney princess toddler doll and horse now this one is obviously Belle from Beauty and the Beast and her horse Philly this box is absolutely gigantic you can see it within comparison to my hand how big it is <laughs> It is, of course, one of the largest size dolls, and it is a toddler doll. She is wearing her signature ball gown color yellow. There is another set. It has the, the a previous older set, which has Belle in her standard blue dress work clothes with a white filly. So this one is a brown, so there is variation in there. Uh, let's have a look at the artwork up close on the box, because it's really, really cute. So just look at these, some pictures. Just beautiful pictures of Belle, obviously from the movie, um, just lovely. And on the back here, you can see the size comparison to a toddler here. I'd say she's about, what, four or five? And how big the doll is in comparison to her on the horse. It's just absolutely good, gorgeous. So a little write-up over here, and it shows what other ones you can get in the set. There's Anna and Sven, Cinderella, and one of the carriage horses. I have not seen Anna and Sven in the shop here, but I have seen Cinderella, and I may be getting that one. If you want to see that one particularly, just, you know, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> I'll probably buy it anyway because I love Disney dolls so much. Back to the front. I'm going to get into her and open her up. Be right back. Okay, so here they are out of the box. Obviously still in the inside case to keep them nice and secure. <laughs> It looks like they're tied in with strings, which I'm going to give the snippy snip to, so um, no annoying wire ties. I have noticed that there is some paint on the back of Philippe's rump, which I'll bring up and show when I'm doing the close-up review. But so far, it's been very, very cute. I'm going to snip the ties now and bring them up. Okay, I've got Philippe out of the box, and he's absolutely gorgeous. I'm assuming he's a Clydesdale horse, given his face structure and his hoof. The all this fluff down here over the hooves. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't really know, but um, I'm just assuming there. Now, I thought his saddle would be removable. It is not. It is actually glued down because I tried to remove it by undoing the strap. Don't. Do that because it is really annoying to get back done up <laughs> and there's no point because it's all glued down up here so as such I have not tried to remove his bridle however he is so beautiful I don't really see a point in undressing him anyway let's have a look up close this is his saddle you can see the signature rose look from Beauty and the Beast of course her colors are the yellow and pink which will match her dress over there moving around we've got this long twirled tail here not in a Barbie blonde kind of more a yellow yellowy baby doll blonde here but very cute all the same of course the big Clydesdale hooves he looks so incredibly strong like he looks like a strong horse on this side you'll notice that these are the only mo uh, movable parts of the saddle I'm assuming this is so that the dog they can move to put the doll's feet in for riding and this part here obviously coming off the bridle for steering look at this face this face is so gorgeous You'd almost say that it was a boy, more a girl more than a boy because it's so pretty, but it, he is a boy. He's a strong boy. <laughs> okay, so we've had a look at Philippe. Let's get out Belle and have a look up close. Okay, I've got Belle out. She was a lot harder to get out of the box than Philippe. She had so many strings holding her in and other assorted things. <laughs> I, I was relying on trusty old snip, snip, snip. To, uh, to free her eventually because <laughs> I, I gave up my poor hands um, she is beautiful as Belle dolls always are but what really sets her apart is the articulation on this toddler doll now I've got um, a few toddler dolls out there um, I've done it for a few on a few some of them I think I've done a review on a Rapunzel and an Ariel yeah I know I have a, a prince I know I have a, a um, 
an Aurora upstairs. I don't think I did a review on her. But um, none of them have anywhere near the articulation of this Bell doll. So I'm going to bring her up close before we get into that and have a look at her face. Because with dollies for me, it's all about this. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? They have on these Disney, do um, Disney toddler dolls these uh, these eye effects that are meant to give um, the illusion of being glass eyes and having a three-dimensional look to them. So the white is actually painted on the outside and the inside, um, the iris and the pupil are underneath like this plastic to make it look like a glass eye and to give it this effect. It just makes it absolutely gorgeous. On her head here, she has her little crown done in silvers and golds um, for the gems. Her hair is done half up with a twirl, so half up from each side and twirl down into a ponytail down the center. Just sitting down in this curvy, wavy, not a mess, but organized chaos if you'd like. <laughs> which is just gorgeous so I'm gonna it doesn't actually have that much hairspray in so I'm actually gonna give it a couple of licks of hairspray so it stays because at the moment it looks it looks like it's meant to and I'm worried enough of this and it'll start to look a bit more of the mess rather than the organized chaos okay so her dress is a childlike version of the iconic scene from the ballroom in Beauty and the Beast it is in her signature color yellow with pink mesh at the side, pink roses coming down the front here to the skirt, a little pink mesh over skirt with a ribbon here. It's all held together with Velcro at the back. So not much to it. It's easy for a child to take on and take off. Let's check out the shoes. Okay, down to her shoes here, and they fit. My goodness, they fit. You can take them on and off. She has little tootsies. I love when they make the toes individually. She has little tootsies. If you've seen my aerial um, toddler review, it, it's like she needs to fire who her cobbler is because he made her shoes one size or half a size too big, and whenever you pick up the doll, her shoes come off. Which kind of defeats the purpose of wearing shoes. You kind of want them to stay on. So Belle is absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at this face. This is a beautiful doll face on her. Let's get into the articulation. Of course, she can move her head from side to side, albeit very stiffly. The joint on her head is very, very stiff. She cannot look up or down. It is a side to side motion. She has shoulder movement. So she can lift her arms up to that height, back and forward. She has elbow movement from there to there. And it looks like she might have wrist movement. No, it doesn't. It looks like she might have wrist movement, but that's just glued in. So it's it stops. Oh, but again, she can move them back and forward and she can rotate her lower arm. So that's really important to note. I don't think she will have any midsection movement. No, she won't. I'll show her undie soon. <laughs> Poor Belle. Um, she has movement on her upper leg here. So she can go out to the side. Like she's doing some yoga moves. And she can go forward. She also has knee joint movement back to here. Uh, does it rotate? It does rotate as well. So that's really helpful. No ankle movement. So she's really, really movable, and I'm sorry, Belle, I don't mean to, but I do, because everybody wants to see. She has painted on undies. I know there are a lot of doll collectors that hate painted on undies on dolls. I kind of like it because um, undergarments are one of the first things that kids lose on dolls. Shoes and undergarments, they just disappear. So I'm really happy that, that she has painted on undies. Um, little bow in the middle here is really really cute on the back which I'm not impressed with and I am going to show this because I will show on my doll reviews if there's something I'm not too happy with what is this there is a hole in her bottom now all I can think of is that is in some way connected to Philippe to help her sit down but there is nothing that I can see that it pops on to 
maybe I'll notice it when I put her on here. But there is a hole in her bottom with a big screw down. <laughs> it's not a good look. Oh, there's some packaging wire that I haven't taken off yet. But very, very cute. I'm going to get her onto her horse and let's see how easy it is. All right. First off, it's not as easy as it looks. Second off, I've even noticed on the package here, when I could get a foot in one side, I could not get the foot on the other side. And I was like, how are you meant to put the feet in? But then I noticed on the package, look at this. It shows you on the package one foot in here, but when you look to the other side, look what's just hanging low with no foot in it. <laughs> so it looks like you can't get both feet into the um, the sitting position, even on this one here. It looks like Anya's foot just comes off to the side there. I don't know. It If it's not on here, I'd say it's very difficult. And popping these things off is annoying. <laughs> so there was a bit of a drama, but look how beautiful she looks. She looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, the other accessory that it does come with is a brush for brushing your doll's hair or your horse's hair. She'll be a display piece for us, so she's not exactly going to get her hair ma mangled, but that is something cool for kids to have for extra level play. I'm going to bring her gently around. She does hold onto the bridle and you can see the size of her here is my <gasps> <gasps> let's bring her in the center so she's easy you can see the size of her in comparison to my hand here so basically up to here is an adult hand size so the rest of her she is quite tall she little toddlers are gonna absolutely love her for play bring her around to the other side so I wouldn't recommend trying to rotate and get the feet in. It it was jolly awful, quite honestly. But I don't mind because she's so beautiful. <laughs> very, very cute. Love it all. Let's get up close and personal. Look at that face. Isn't she beautiful? And with the extra articulation and the horse... It's a set that's going to make a statement piece in a person's collection, especially if you're buying for a little toddler or Disney crazy girl. Just having the horse as an extra is amazing. And look at that gorgeous hairstyle there. Absolutely beautiful. Not to forget his hairstyle down here. He looks gorgeous too. I'm not forgetting you, Philippe. <laughs> I am so happy with this set very very happy that my son brought this for me it is an early present for mummy for her birthday doesn't he choose presents well and he chooses gorgeous disney princesses beautiful if you love Belle, please give this a thumbs up if you love disney dolls please give this a thumbs up if you love toys, please subscribe. We love to open toys here and we love to share. Thanks very much for watching. Bye. Bye.